on the Matt's Heating and Cooling Zone, Spencerville head coach Chris Summers. Coach, first of all, thanks for making the time to come on. Um, a little bit more time than available tonight than you were initially planning on. Take us through yesterday when you found out that you weren't playing. What was, what was your reaction? How did the kids take it? And how did the Spencerville faithful take it? Yeah, you know, it, crazy, you know, di disappointed. I mean, disappointed for our, our players, especially our seniors. Um, uh, you know, disappointed for the, the Ada players, um, you, you know, still playing and, um, you know, and, and disappointed for, for uh, Sean, you know, and, and just, so just a, a mixture of, of emotions, you know, I know Sean and uh, he's been a great fellow coach in our league and uh, he's a good personal friend of mine. I think the world of him. So, uh, you, you know, just just a lot of emotions. I know our kids certainly want to play, as everybody does. Uh, you get a limited amount of games already, so just kind of something that uh, you know. And if Ains taught us with this year, it's a year of changes and it's a year of being able to move on the fly. So um, it just kind of adds to it a little bit. You know, talking about adding to it, and, and perhaps this did, perhaps this didn't. But we've heard so much about. Uh, making sure that you're, you're masked and that you're maintaining social distancing in order to be able to play sports this fall. And does the fact that that really didn't play into it, this really isn't a COVID issue, this really isn't a, a, a Spencerville issue per se, did that add to any feelings of, of disappointment? Well, I think anytime you don't get a play, you know, you, you're disappointed. So I think you just leave it at that. It's just disappointment. You want to play. I certainly know our kids want to play. Um, and, 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 you know, it just is what it is after that. And, uh, you know, one thing to, that we've learned from the good Lord here is that you just, you got to be able to roll with the punches and move on and try to make a positive out of anything. This has certainly been a, a, an interesting season. I mean, you're in the midst of, or will be in the midst of a playoff here. We'll talk about that here in a second. But how has your preparation uh, changed? And maybe you've had to throw the, the playbook out, so to speak, and start fresh with everything that's going on. But with a three-week regular season, so to speak, and then now moving into, a, for, well, for you guys, a two-week playoff, what has changed in your preparation compared to last year? Well, I think the one thing, you better be playing well early you know that was something that we talked a lot about is um you don't you know when you really look at it uh, do my math right here uh, after last friday was our fourth contest we've had you know so uh, or at least being able to play against another opponent whereas in a year ago we had three scrimmages you know you had your first game uh you know, you hit that you hit that mark pretty early. So, um, just trying to get up to speed quicker, and, and uh, from a conditioning standpoint or what have you, or you know, just the things I think you can really only iron out on Fridays under the lights or against another opponent. Um, we've had to, we've had like I'm sure everybody, you know, we've we've had to try to speed things up a little bit and see what we have and adjust from there. And, um, you know, kind of think on the fly a little bit more. But, you know, all in all, it, it, I, I tell you what, you know, I know it's been we've we've all kind of went through a lot with preparation that. But when when you tee the ball up on a Friday, none of that matters anymore. It just feels like a game that you've done before. And um, it's fun. And all those feelings come back again. You guys have gotten off to a fast start three and oh, what have you liked from uh, both sides of the ball. Offense obviously seems to be clicking really well. Your defense is first in a number of categories in the NWC. What what have you liked out of your football team so far? I like our chemistry. I like our uh, – we're having fun. You know, we're having fun. And uh, winning is fun. Yeah, of course it is, but it's not uh, – you know, it's more than that. It's just the, the attitude and the willingness to treat each – you know, to work hard each and every day, uh, treat each other well. You know, I'm having fun, you know, and I – I think it was such a blessing to get to come out and coach this group. I really do. You know, they've taught me a lot this year. They've helped me, and and uh, I think we've helped each other, you know. So um, they've been great. And then, you know, from a football standpoint, I see a team that still has, um, I feel like, a lot of room to grow, you know. And I think there's certainly a lot of places that we can get better at. And, uh, you know, the neat thing is we have, we have some players, some kids that, they want to do that. They want to get better. And that's, that's always fun. That's always exciting. 
So with no football game tonight, what are your plans? Are, are you and your guys going to do something? Are you going to go check out a game, either live or in person? What's, what's yeah. the plan tonight? Well, I thought that right away. I thought, you know, I'll go watch a game, but that's not possible all the time now, you know. So, uh, you know, practice. We're on practice, you know. We're going, we're going to get another practice in and, uh, you know, just, just try to keep things as normal as possible. Well, there's a lot of things that we, you know, we need to get better ourselves fundamentally, and there's a lot of things that we can do. So I think that's the first thing I look at is, how can we improve ourselves? Well, we improve ourselves by practicing today, you know, and, and we're going to do that. And, and I know it's going to be a good one. And, um, you know, then from there, man, we'll, you know, we'll try to check out any game that we possibly can. And maybe, maybe Alan East Paulding, is that, maybe? That, 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 that would be the, that would be the top one right there. <laughs> well, we go, go. And I'll tell you what, both really good teams. We had a, uh, a Paulding, man, I respect those guys so much. And, and Coach Tyler and the job he does, and that was a that was a slugfest last week, you know. And uh, and uh, and of course, I know what Coach Billings has with Alan East and, and the program and tradition they have. They they're a tremendous team, so that would be a good game. We'll have the highlights for you on that one, Alan East and Paulding later on in the program. Spencer Bell head coach Chris Summers, coach. Thanks for your time and good luck to you next week. Whoever you end up playing, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.